Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Alright, so we're in this room decorated with uh, skulls. Uh, apparently they don't come off. That would have been gross. Alright, another cart box thing that we have to push. Wow, look at that water. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just going to completely like just talk about water this entire LP cuz it's amazing. Simply amazing. I've been in worse. <laughs> At least the water looks clean. It's not like I'm cleaning and it's not like I'm swimming in sewage or anything. Oh, come on. We got to run off and jump. There you go. <laughs> got to love it. <laughs> Almost sounds like a uh, snake there. I really Drake? Drake? Drake! <laughs> Alright, well this part's easy. You just climb the rocks. Climb the rocks. I made it! I'm on the other side! Made it! <sighs> Alright, so just uh, blow up that TNT there. Make sure you stay away from it before you blow it up. Yeah. There you go. Nice one. Hey, Soli always gets it easy in this game. You just do all the hard work for him. I've got this one. Yeah, you better. Oh god, this part. Yeah, that looks safe. This looks safe. Oh jeez. Stole the words right out of my mouth, Drake. Oh, go figure. Alright, now as many people have pointed out, this is basically like a very similar run to uh, the Boulder run in Crash Bandicoot 2 and Dinosaur run in Crash Bandicoot 3. Oh, I barely missed that. Oh, man. Fail. Alright, let's try that again. And there we go. Oh. <laughs> I made it. I'm okay. Yeah, look at that. He just hops over. <laughs> After that, we better be. Okay, why would there be scaffolding in the middle of an ancient temple? That's kind of beyond me, but, well. Oh, man. The temple must have been built around this. Around what? A statue. A gold statue. A huge gold statue. And look here. These people, they're worshipping the damn thing. At least, I think they're people. Of course. El Dorado, the Golden Man. Sully, it wasn't a city of gold. It was this. It was a golden idol. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Look over here. Tracks. I bet the Spanish dragged it out on cut logs. <laughs> We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Unless... Unless what? We follow the tracks. Yeah, I was gonna um, point that out to you guys. I just love how he just points out the tracks and then it's like, oh, the trail's cold. I'm like, yeah, we could just follow the tracks. 
<laughs> just kind of like says it like super silly All right, now we'll just grab this treasure here just to get it off. It's not the first one you can find, but basically, if you find like any sparkly things in the distance like this, you could get treasures, and each and every single treasure that you get can unlock you cheats. Not each and every single one. I think you have to collect like a certain number. But if you get all of the uh, treasures in this game, you get all the cheats. I think that's how that works. I'm not sure. But, uh. Well. They stop here. Yeah. Spaniards must have made themselves a shortcut to get the treasure out. Well, now what? <laughs> okay, well, they just blew like a fucking hole in the wall. Uh, I guess that makes things simpler. Anyway, yeah, here's where a sense of scale Wait, comes in, definitely. I mean, this wasn't the first video game to do this, but yeah. Look at this. The submarine stuck on a waterfall. Go figure. to come up the river during flood season and gotten stuck. <laughs> Let's check it out, huh? Yeah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Something about this feels kind of hinky. Hinky? You act like you've never seen a German U-boat in the middle of the jungle before. Uh, I'm being serious, Nate. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you stay here? I'll check it out myself. I'll call you if I run into any Nazis. Yeah, right. You do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on to this for me, will you? Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Alright, very, very important cutscene there. Don't forget it. Uh. Yeah, a surprising find! It is a surprising find. I concur, game. Uh. Yeah, that's basically it. So, we'll basically what we have to do is summon our way to the top of that submarine as the U-boat's uh, entrance is on the top. I don't think much has changed from uh, today's modern submarines, but... Yeah, kind of uh, finding a, a German U-boat out in the middle of... I don't know where we're at. is really, really weird. But as you can find in uh, Uncharted games, the Nazis were, like, everywhere. Just, like, you know, just finding random like crap. You have to monkey across those cliffs to get into the U-boat. Out in the middle of nowhere, and then before it, oh, Nazi corpses, huh? Interesting. So, expect uh, some uh, Tomb Raider crap, not Tomb Raider crap, but uh, Raiders of the Ark crap. There you go, and that's our first swingy swingy, like, what I like to call them, swingies. Now the problem with those is that you have to have enough momentum before you jump. If you're not going to have enough momentum before you jump, then you're probably not going to make it. So, and plus with swings, uh, it's kind of hard to decipher where you go next sometimes. So, you got to be careful of awkward camera angles as well. Now, with this one, you can just climb up and get a treasure. Or you could just swing over here like this. Once I get enough momentum, and I died. All right, let's try that again. Oh, jeez, this is gonna be a lot of dying. I I could just tell. This is just gonna be like really funny. I feel like I didn't have enough momentum that time either. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Climb up. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy. There we go. Huh. 
Alright, let's make it this time. Oh, thank God. Whew, I thought I was going to have a little panic attack there. Hey, watch yourself up there. It's a long way down. Oh, you scared me, Sully. Oh, crap, you see how I jumped back. Ah, oh, jeez. This game is a bit much at times. Alright, awesome, we're behind a waterfall. Love it. Alright, so we'll just shimmy over here. This is our first drop down. I hate these drop downs because it always feels like I'm never gonna like make it and they just keep falling. So you gotta be careful with that. Basically you press circle, then you just drop down with X. Then you grab back on with, I believe, circle. So it's kind of kind of tough to master, but you'll get the hang of it. Nate, you should be able to drop right down into the U boat from there. No. Well, that was our plan, and now we're here. Awesome. Love that sunset too. I might be serious about that. Okay, I'm in. What do you see? Something nasty happened to these guys. There's blood everywhere. And soup. What? Yeah, these controls for opening the doors are kind of awkward, but eh. Could be worse. This part is really cool because it always confuses me between what's a cutscene and what's not a cutscene, so. It's gotten to the point where the in game graphics are just so. just catching up. Get this, my decomposing friend. <laughs> anyway, like I was just saying, uh, the end game graphics have finally matched up to cutscene graphics, so that's uh, showing you how much progress the video games have uh, made over the years. So another one of these awkward doors you have to open. Awkward. They're awkward. Squeak, squeak. Man, this looks like a giant bathroom. That's what this looks like. The toilet bowl right there. Uh. Okay, so where? What is this? Oh. Going. Oh, I didn't see that door there. <laughs> Cozy. Captain's quarters. Get this. He's still here. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, it looks like he was killed. Ripped to shreds, actually. Oof, what a way to go. Yeah, sounds terrible. Take his wallet. You're all hearts, Sully. Find anything, kid? 